Hi everybody, today I wanted to uh, do a quick review for the Givi EA-118 and uh, this is a 25 liter uh, capacity tank bag for your motorcycle. I've decided to return this bag uh, for a few reasons. Uh, one, I, I ended up getting a box for the tail end of my motorcycle. Plus, it just seems too big. It's too big. And uh, if I didn't have a box, maybe it's, uh, it's a good thing to have such a big uh, bag, but uh, in case you have a really big box in the back, you just don't need it. So I'm just gonna show you how uh, all the features that it has not on the bike, and then I'm gonna put it on the bike, and I'm going to show you uh, how it looks on the bike. Now I have a Suzuki GSX S1000, and uh, it, it could look a little different on your bike. Just keep that in mind. It comes with this plastic thingy here. And what, it, what it, this intends to do is to make the bag go in shape so, so, it's, so it doesn't collapse. And it goes inside here and there's a buckle right here. It goes on, uh, on the other side and then again right here so it keeps the shape of the bag it comes with straps for some reason it also comes with the plastic ring but it doesn't come with the metal insert that attaches to your uh, motorcycle so i guess this is a spare just in case the one on your motorcycle breaks then it has a map area here so you can put some stuff in this clear area notice there's no notch here like some other uh give you bags it also has an expander so you can expand the size the size of this bag by a few inches so if i open it up you can see it expands quite substantially i would say about uh, two and a half inches and then you can close it all the zippers have a nice tab not sure how long these tabs will last, but uh, they're nice and they're uh, with a uh, high-vis color. There's two side pockets, one here. It's actually nice and big. One on this side and one on the front side. Now, they won't be able to accept a big phone, so keep that in mind. These are not good for phones. Also, in the front, you have a handle and two loops here, and these are to attach the shoulder strap. And then inside, it's well padded where the uh, mount is. Now, in the front, it's very peculiar. In all the images of this product, this does not exist. And it attaches right there. And basically it has a clip here that you can open it. Now I'm assuming this attaches to your handlebar just in case this flies or disconnects or in case you need to fuel your uh, motorcycle and you need to detach it from the tank so this way it doesn't fall, you can just dangle it. Now on the bottom side, here is the tank lock mechanism and it's uh it's actually very nice uh, very uh very good clamping force i don't see this detaching while riding i do think that the sw motec i'm pretty sure that's the name of the company that does have uh, a tank quick latching tank lock mechanism I think it's a little better but on the other hand this one has a side latch and the SW Motec has the one from in front where the handle is and sometimes in some motorcycles they're not there's not a lot of space there so it's harder to uh, detach the bag so now that I showed you uh, the bag off the motorcycle let me go ahead and mount it on the motorcycle and you're gonna see how it looks Okay, so this is the uh, GSX S1000 and uh, 
Right now I have the 5 liter bag on it. It's the MT505 and uh, I like it. Um, it's not perfect, but uh, I, I perhaps I will make a separate review for it. So let me dismount this er, like that. This is the ring that uh, you have to specifically purchase for your bike. Now let's put the, uh, the bag on the bike. And as you can see, you just basically you just put it there and it latches. No problem. Easy peasy. Now the reason that I'm returning it is because it just sits on my back right there. Plus it's pretty big, but uh, this is not going anywhere and it's really easy to put on and off. So I actually recommend it for that purpose, just for the ease of putting it on and off. So as you can see, this thing, supposedly you can put it through your handlebar, lock it, and this way when you take it off, you can, uh, you can just leave it dangling and it doesn't fall off. So that's it. Hopefully this helped you because it's kind of hard to find these videos. I looked and looked, I couldn't find much on this specific bag or the uh, MT505 for that matter. So if you want a review for the MT505, let me know. I'll post a more detailed video. I'm going to put in a link for this product. Uh, please leave your comment or any questions that you may have. And I hope you have a great rest of the day. Thanks for watching. Bye.